Behind these numbers is a puzzle. Can you solve it? The claw plus sail, colossal, tie plus ten, titan, the colossal titan. If you could do that, you could win free subscription to Crunchyroll where you could watch any one of these eight shows as we play Concentration! Thank you ladies and gentlemen. My name is Grego and this is my first game show that I have on the docket for you at uh, Anime St. Louis and I am happy to be back. Are you guys happy to see me back? Yeah! Uh, some happy circumstances that we can thank NASCAR for brought me back. I was originally slated to do a con in Bristol, Virginia this weekend. Then NASCAR decided that they were going to uh, have a race this weekend. So uh, they moved their dates, so this date became open. Hence, I'm back at Anime St. Louis for my sixth year and for the tenth year of Anime St. Louis. Give it up. And we get to try again with Concentration. We played this last year, and unfortunately, the footage got lost in the great hard drive failure of 2014. Oh. Yeah, so it was a good show, too. It was sad. Um, but we'll try again, and hopefully my hard drive will not fail. And we definitely don't want it to fail, because we are doing something a little different this time on Concentration. We've got eight shows, and of course you can watch a whole lot more shows than that on, uh, on Crunchyroll, but they've been nice enough to offer up a one-year subscription to anyone who wins our bonus game today. So, one-year premium subscription to watch all the anime, drama, and read all the manga you want on Crunchyroll. Uh, and we'll talk about the titles of these shows, because that's what the contestants are going to need to know are the titles of these things. But we'll go a little further into this as we go. Let's introduce our contestants for our very first game of uh, concentration. Our first contestant is a Grego's Game Show veteran, uh, let us welcome Luke to Concentration. So tell us, tell us uh, about your time on, on on my show or shows. Well, uh, last year I was on uh, Anime Crush Your Luck, and it was the uh, first time I was ever on a uh, Gregor's Game Show, and I actually did not think I'd make it on there, but. It was a very close game, very back and forth. Um, you know, I was winning, I was winning, I lost all my stuff, she was winning, she lost all her. And, uh, spoiler alert, she ended up winning, but it was very close and it was very intense. Um, I didn't get a t-shirt out of it, so, you know, not a whole, you know, just, yeah. yeah. I still have it. <laughs> all right. And uh, so this is your, your chance for redemption. Uh, redemption so, is correct. Yeah, so best of luck to you. You are, however, going to be faced by someone who uh, might kill everyone in this room uh, before the end of it. Uh, he, wishes to be, he wishes to be called by the character he's cosplaying as led this weekend. Let us welcome Pyramid Head. <laughs> We're alive for now, so that's good. Uh, so what are your thoughts? Uh, how do you think you're going to fare on this game? Uh, speak into that microphone so we can hear you. Uh, there you are. No, I, don't, I don't have an opinion. Well, uh, we wish you the best of luck uh, so that you don't kill us afterward again. Uh, before we get started, let me tell you about one of the prizes that you could win on our game today. And here is the description. Cease whatever you're doing, and desist any other pursuits of amusement. We order you, see what I, see what I did there, to check out the Interabang Studios Parody Parade. Their newest issue is currently available for sale in the vendor room, Kevin Volk, Interabang Studios Parody Parade. All right, so that is one of the prizes that is available for the show. I will close the, shut the music down. Now pay attention and concentrate. I'm about to show you where you can find that prize on our board. It is behind number 18, Parody Parade Prizes. You get the book and some other prizes to go along with it from Kevin Volk and Surbank Studios. Remember where you saw it. Now, Luke. You won the toss before the show, which means you can go first, call out the numbers one at a time, and try to make a match. So where do you want to start? Let's start with 10. Number 10, there we find a J-Rock photo book. Are you a fan of J-Rock? Yeah. Uh, are you a fan of eBay? Uh, yeah. 
because that's probably where it'll end up if you don't want. Where's the other? Where's the other photo book? Uh, my gut feeling tells me 17. Number 17. There we find a wild card, which is an automatic match. So there you go. All right, the other J-Rock photo book was behind number, hello, okay, there we go, it was behind number 14. So what we do now is we slide that into place on your side of the board. It'll be yours if you solve the puzzle and you get a first look at it. Here are three pieces. That's helpful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm guessing you would like to continue. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> where would you like to go? Twenty. Number twenty. And there's a Dishy Sharat t-shirt. Hey, you already have one t-shirt on one of my shows. With another. Where's the match? I'm gonna go with eight. Number eight. And no, that is Dollhouse Canvas Pouch. Dollhouse is one of the uh, from our artists and artist alley. Uh, that is no match. And here the head, you are in the game. Where would you like to start? Number one. Number one, and there is the Dollhouse Canvas Pouch. You remember where it was? Number eight. And number eight, and that is correct. Well done. <laughs> we slide that on your side of the board, and now you get your first look at the puzzle, and here we go. Any idea at all? No. Let's play the game. Where do you want to go? Two, please. Number two. Oh, Parody Parade Prizes, and 18 for the Parody Parade Prizes. <laughs> Leading up so far, that goes on your side of the board. That is a prize that's worth more than 50 bucks uh, when all is said and done. So, and it'll be yours if you can solve the puzzle. Here we go. All right, let's play. Three. Number three. Yoshitaka Amano novel. That's a very nice prize. And 13. Number 13. Pachinko Fever free play. That's 250 balls to play over Pachinko Fever and the other in the double tree. No match. Go back over to you, Luke. 25. Number 25 at the end. There is uh, there's the Amano novel. Number three. And number three for the Yoshitaka Amano novel. Well done. This is from Mink, and uh, worked by Yoshitaka Amano. This is Shinjuku, and this is a novel with some beautiful illustrations by Amano. So there you go. That is a nice surprise. We slide it onto your side of the board, and you get another look at our puzzle. And here it comes. I'm going to continue. All right. Go ahead. Use your mic to say that. Oh, it's 12. Number 12. There's a take. Yes. So if you can match that take, then you can take something away from Pyramid Head if you want. 19. 19? Nope. There's the Dishy Sharat t-shirt. No match. That's a great for Pyramid Head. Where are you going? 20. Number 20. Yep. 19. And number 19. There you go. Yep, I looked into my prize closet and I found that I had some Dishy Chirac t-shirts that are probably at least five years old at this point, but they're still in the prize suitcase and they could be yours. Slide it up on your side of the board. Here's some more of the puzzle audience. If you have it, please keep it to yourself. Continue. All right, where are you going? Five. Number five. Once Upon a Doodle stickers. Uh, once Upon a Doodle are done one of our artists in the artist alley. A ten dollar gift certificate. And fifteen. Number fifteen. The Jinko Fever free play. No match, and that's a break for Luke. Nine. Number nine. Moving Souls goodies. Sixteen. Sixteen. Gundam Seed figure. No match. You're in the head. Thirteen. There you go. And fifteen. And there you go. Wait a minute. That is 250 balls to play Pachinko next door to Double Tree. We slide that up on your side of the board. Pachinko Fever free play. Let's see if you can solve it when we give you these two pieces. All right, so just keep it to yourself if you've got 
continue. All right, where are we going? Four. Number four is a wild card. Automatic match, anything you want. Twelve. Number twelve, he wants the take. <laughs> All right, the other take was behind number 21. Now, Luke has a J-Rock photo book and a Yoshitaka Amano novel. Now, I'm guessing that one of these things is not like the other. Do you want to use your take right now? All right, which would you like to take away? The photo book. The photo book. All right, so uh, the J-Rock photo book comes away from Luke and goes over to your side of the board. Luke's happy that he doesn't lose that novel. And you'll get five prizes now if you can solve this puzzle. And audience, please keep it to yourself. All right, two more numbers. Six. Number six. Toy Man Show buttons. Toy Man Show is a convention coming up uh, that uh, they got some buttons for. Number 22, Toy Man Show Buttons, there you go. The natural match. All right, you've got most of the prizes now, six of them. You don't win a single thing unless you can solve the puzzle. Here we go. All right, two more doors. Number 16, that is the Gundam Seed figure. 23. And 23 for the Gundam Seed figure. All right, match. Well, you lost your, so bad, so sad, you lost your J-Rock photo book, but you're, you still have your novel. We put the Gundam Seed figure into place. You get both of those. This might do it. Audience, please keep it to yourself. Here we go. I'm going to continue. All right, now, there are only two prizes left on the board and a wild card. If you find the wild card, you will clear the board. If you make a match, you will clear the board. Where do you want to go? 24. Is that the other wild card? No. Once upon a Google sticker is... Seven. Seven. It's the wild card! Automatic match. All right. The other one was five. Now, first and foremost, we slide the stickers up on your side of the board. We open those three doors. Then we open up number nine and number 11 for the Mugen Souls goodies, which is a match and Lucas is celebrating. It looks like he's got it. We'll put the Mugen Souls goodies up on your side of the board to win all four of those prizes and you solve it. Might as well just guess, right? Yeah, take a guess. Uh, three sh yield to W chicken golf ball dollar bill half. Is it that? No. <laughs> Pyramid head. We now give you the opportunity to win all the prizes on your side of the board if you can solve the puzzle. If you cannot, I will then start breaking it down. All right. So, Pyramid head. What do you think we have there? Nothing. All right, now, yeah, that's, now we are in a buzzer situation. You cannot buzz in until I start breaking down the puzzle. Raising your hand, the buzzer will be added in post-production. So, but, uh, so put the camera on, or just leave the camera for there right now, because right now this camera's on the board. Okay, so we're back out of that. So, the moment I start breaking down this puzzle, either of you can raise your hand and solve. All right, so, first we have ice. Gotta raise your hand to buzz in. Okay, Luke, you buzzed in. Ice shield. We. T. Turn? That is not correct. I will continue. Again, raise your hand to buzz in. You have ice plus the lips there are sh in you plus yield sign. Put that together. Ice sh yield or ice shield. TW plus the hen for twin plus the air. Okay, Luke. Ice shield tweeter. 
<laughs> I will continue. TW plus the hen plus the arrows pointing at the T plus the number one. Put it all together and you get to when Luke? 21. Whole puzzle? Ice Shield 21. Is it Ice Shield 21? It is Ice Shield 21. Which, by the way, is the name of a manga and anime about football. Ice Shield 21. Go uh, ahead. Apparently, Go neither of our contestants have seen. Ordinarily, at this point, I would break down the puzzle, but I just gone and did that. Now, audience, how did you do? How uh, did, did it? What was? Did it? Uh, you obviously, know it was Ice Shield 21. Thank you for not yelling it out. But did you have it a lot sooner than they did? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, so there you are. So, congratulations, Luke. You eventually got there. So, you are finally a winner on a Grego's Game Show. And now, I'm going to tell you about all the things that you won. There we go. All right. So, here is everything that you have won. You have won the Yoshitaka Mano novel that we talked about before, and that comes to us courtesy of Anime Fan Zone, Milwaukee is the largest uh, anime and gaming store. You have also won, oh, you win this. You won this. You won a Gundam Seed figure, which also comes to us courtesy of Anime Fan Zone. Uh, you have also won a $10 voucher to Once Upon a Duel. Uh, they've got all sorts of uh, goodies, all buttons, stickers, you name it. Ten bucks to spend at their table. And you have won everything in the Mugen Souls Premium Edition except for the game. <laughs> so you get the visual book, you get the little cho-cho uh, pocket person thing there, and you get a sponge. courtesy of NIS America. It is a prize package that is worth over 6,500 yen in prizes from Concentration. Congratulations. Yes, $65. Thank you for the person laughing at my using yen. It makes it sound more impressive than it actually is. And there you go. So congratulations. I will give all of these to you now. Uh, Pyramid Head, didn't work out for you. But I'm going to give you the most appropriate prize on the board that you have matched because you will creep everybody out when you go in there to play the games. I am going to give you a coupon for Pachinko Fever so that you can play with your balls. The metal ones! The metal ones! Play with the metal balls! <laughs> Uh, and you can play Pachinko Fever is available at a convention near you. Be sure to check them out. So thank you so much for being on the concentration. When we come back, we are going to see if Luke can win himself a year of Crunchyroll, and we will do that right after this. Stay tuned, you two audience. <laughs> we are back to concentration from Anime St. Louis here Friday night at the con. Are we enjoying ourselves so far? And uh, we have our winner, Luke, over here, who has just won himself about 65 bucks worth of swag. Uh, about half of it from Anime Fan Zone, which we're very happy for their prize donations for this convention. Now we're going to put him to work and give him a chance to win. Now, you are already a premium subscriber. That I am. Uh -huh. And uh, they are very happy for that. And they're so happy that they're going to give you the next year for free if you play our little game here. Now. Before we do this, I'm going to put on the board eight <coughs> titles. And here they are. We have Saint Seiya, new version of Saint Seiya, currently streaming on Crunchyroll. We have my current favorite, Food Wars. Have you guys seen yeah. this thing yet? It is hilarious. It is over-the-top cooking action. It is great. We have Ace of Diamonds. We have my other favorite from this month. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Yeah. That's the actual title of the show. Uh, we have Triage X, which is a thing. Uh, someone clapped for that. 
You're a brave, brave person. All right. Every year we've got to have a boob show. That's this year's boob show. So there you are. We have sound euphonium, uh, which is K on with a plot. <laughs> we have hello Kinmoza. Only one. Yes. I like that show. Well, then we have Yamada Kun and the Seven Witches. I had to translate that real quick. And there you go. Those are. Uh, I have that one has just started coming out on Crunchyroll. I have not watched the first episode of that yet. I have, however, watched everything else up here, including Triage X. <laughs> So yeah. uh, there we go. So those are the titles. Now those titles you're about to see on our 15 numbered squares there. All right. Now here's how it works. We've paired up seven of those, and there's a 15th one that doesn't match up with anything. Don't let that throw you off. All right. You're gonna call out the numbers one by one. Now here's how I recommend doing it. Call one, two, three, four, five, six. And that makes it easier for me running the board while I'm listening for your calls. And then once you start to see things that match, then you can go back and start doing that. That gives you a clearer than jumping around the board because that will slow you down, believe me. All right, now you have 60 seconds. If you can match all seven of those pairs of titles in 60 seconds or less, we will give you one year of Crunchyroll Premium. All right? All right. Let's root them on. Please don't help. Woo! I gotta listen to him, and if I hear any numbers from the audience, I'm gonna flip them over, it's gonna screw the whole thing up, all right? So, you have 60 seconds. Whenever you're ready, off you go. One, two. No match. Three, four. That's five, a match. Five, six. No match. Seven, eight. No match. Nine, ten. No match. Eleven, twelve. No match. Uh, six, eleven. Match. Nine eleven. Yeah. Match. Seven eleven. Yeah. Match. Twelve thirteen. No match. Uh, nine twelve. Yeah. No match. Twelve seven. That's a match. Thirteen fourteen. No match. Nine thirteen. That's a match. Fourteen uh fifteen. No match. Uh two fifteen. No match. One fifteen. That's a match. Five ten. That's a match. Eight six. No match. Eight two. No match. Fourteen two. That's a match. Six eleven. No match. Six eight. No match. Eleven eight. That's a match. Yes. It's your favorite show based on the reactions. Congratulations. <laughs> so, uh, for those of you who haven't seen it, Hello Kid Moses is a slice of life show about uh, a Japanese girl who is obsessed with Europeans and foreigners in general. And so, uh, hosts an English exchange student. And yeah, it's very syrupy, sugary, sweet, slice of lifey. It's adorable. If you enjoy it, yeah. If you it's Kaon without the music. And Hitamari sketch without the inflated head, without the shaft inflated heads. So uh, but it still tugs on that particular part of the body that that particular show does. So congratulations, you get to watch it for the next year if you want, as long as it stays on there without paying a dime. So congratulations, Luke. That means, that means that in your time here on Concentration, you have won yourself a grand total of 12,500 yen in prizes! <laughs> now what will happen after the show, I'll give you a card, you'll email me your user ID, and I'll forward it to them, and then they will credit you with the year. So, right, there you go. Congratulations one more time, give it up for Luke! Commercial, we're going to take a quick commercial break and we're going to come back with our second half of concentration. Please stay tuned.